And the pandemic continues to lead to an evolving wealth of information, both for the virus and the vaccines. Today, the World Health Organization announcing it would not recommend the Moderna vaccine to pregnant women unless they're at high risk of exposure. But that doesn't necessarily mean pregnant women should steer clear of it. We spoke with a doctor to clear up some confusion. I get uh, emails, calls, text messages uh, several times a day. Dr. Patrick Ramsey says his patients and colleagues bring in a steady stream of questions about the COVID-19 vaccines. The medical director for inpatient obstetric services at University Hospital also received a question from KSAT. Why did the World Health Organization announce it would not recommend the Moderna vaccine to pregnant women? I think it's mainly they're being extra careful uh, and they even cite that, that they just it's not recommended because because they just have insufficient data. Dr. Ramsey says the WHO had a similar stance with the Pfizer vaccine. We know pregnant women were not part of the initial studies, but we also know the vaccine has been given to healthcare workers, some who are pregnant. We've seen nothing concerning about this vaccine uh, in pregnant women so far in the patients that have been vaccinated uh, in the healthcare provider groups already. The vaccine itself should have very minimal impact on your pregnancy. If anything, it's going to give you and your baby protective antibodies. So when the baby's born, it's going to have some protection against COVID-19. Dr. Ramsey confirms there is no live virus in these vaccines and the mRNA used in the vaccine only stays in the body long enough to help teach your cells how to react to COVID-19. So it should be safe. We have no reason to believe it would be not safe for pregnant women uh, to take the vaccine. So having a discussion with the healthcare provider, uh, their obstetrician or other obstetric provider is really important to kind of weigh the risks and benefits based on their specific situation. Now, the state places pregnant women in the 1B category and are currently eligible for the vaccine. In an effort to learn more, UT Health is set to play a role in a study that will involve pregnant women and the Pfizer vaccine. That study is expected to begin in a couple of months. Meantime, we will take a closer look into the COVID-19 vaccines. Join us tomorrow for our KSAT one-hour special, The Vaccines Ending the COVID-19 Pandemic. It airs tomorrow, January 27th at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12, KSAT.com, and the KSAT TV app.